All right, we're tuning tuning back in. Video three, we're talking more about form objects, with statement, the open form, and the open report. Uh, do commands. So let's look at the code here. Uh, we are in the we are on the Northwind database. If you double click on the products form. Uh, we're going to pull up a little form here and notice that the reorder level. Well, you may want some users to see that, but some users may not depend on their, their login. So, what we're going to do is disable that's based on their login, and that would be a, that would be a, an action uh, sending the property via the code. Okay, so let's look at the code here and notice how my reorder level I have a on the form load event I'm using the me keyword I type this out ahead of time to save time uh, me is referring to the current form and then the reorder level is the control of the form enabled is a property you can set to true or to false now notice that uh, you can set it for true or false. Okay, I set mine to false. And this last item here shows you all the properties and uh, events that you can you can set for that. Now I'm setting it for false here. Let's save it, and then I'm going to go back to the form, and we'll see what happens whenever uh, the form event load procedure happens. Notice that now. Now I'm disabling that control, and notice I can't even click on it. So it's not, it's not totally confusing for users because they know they can't, they can't access it anyway. They say, oh, they can view it, but they can't, they can't do anything with it. All right. So maybe you want to. I don't think this is the best way to do it, but it's for an example here. Uh, we have, yeah, we could set the lock property of this and it shows that it's we can set them both for true reorder level enabled and reorder level locked set them both for true then when I go ahead and close this out notice that now I can see it but I can't do anything with it I can't edit it so actually you may get user complaints saying hey I can't do this why well, can't I do it well, it's because you lock down the control. So enabled looks a bit easier to, it's easier in the eyes. When you, when you look at this, uh, when you look and try to figure out what you're supposed to do with that particular, particular field. All right. So again, I'm gonna put this on the blog, vbahowto.com. Oh, before I don't, before I neglect to say, uh, you may want to not have this. Okay, here the with statement would come in handier. We're dealing with the same control, so let's do a with. Okay, I'm going to format this just right. I like it just to be it, just to be so here. All right, so on the form level, form load event. I have me dot reorder level. I start off with with, so I don't have to retype this all the time. With, with this control, dot enabled equals true. Dot locked equals true. Notice that this does the same thing as the, the previous where I had too much typing, but it's just easier on the eyes. Okay. All right. Okay, let's look at the, this other form. Look at the, the load and the unload events. Uh, uh, sorry, the do commands. Do commands. The do command open form and do command open report. So do command open form. We, yeah, we're opening up a form. This is good for a switchboard. Okay, so open form, open the, open the form. You may want to have that on a switchboard. Also, this open report. 
I'd open it up in design view or in preview mode before you actually print it. Don't send it immediately to the printer because that may not be what they want and uh, you'd be wasting paper. So I'd open up in print preview mode. Here, there's a large array of properties in, that you could choose from and I'm not going to try to go through them all on this in this video but you can check out the blog and I'm going to put them all there. But uh, just briefly, do command open form. Okay, it tells you your form name, how you want to open that form up, <clears throat> how you want to, uh, if you want to have a filter. I don't necessarily use that quite a bit. I use the open arcs more, which is with, uh, and here, uh, open add. Okay, I have a previous, uh, the previous video I did tells you to open it uses this argument and uh, it's a non list so it'd be back on the controls dialogue they okay, use this quite a bit and then I uh, use this a whole lot the open args because I can catch you open arcs on the receiving side and then uh, uh, open the form based on based on whatever the open arcs are all right now Real quickly, the uh, open report. We have open normal is the uh, is a default. Okay, anything and that shows up there is default. You have all these choices you can still choose from. I choose AZ preview just because I want to open up a preview mode. You can open up as with a filter, weird condition. Um, window mode okay these are reports I don't I don't really use these a whole lot but you may find it funny useful so I use a select statements to to pull up the correct information for my, for my reports so we have a do command action open form and open report okay uh, make sure you check out the blog because I'm gonna have a lot more a little more detail on these again this is video three and you can get the code for this and for any of the other videos at vbehowto.com and um, if you can't be sure to rate or comment on this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel thank you and have a great great rest of the day